Thank you for tuning in to Teach Your Mommy, Mommy Teacher. Today we're going to be talking about telling time using an analog and a digital clock. Let's begin. Okay, as you can see, we have a picture of an analog clock. Analog clocks are usually a circle face and they have a minute hand and an hour hand. Some have a second hand as well. Digital clocks are usually in a rectangular form and there are hours and minutes separated by a colon. Now, if you look around your house, I want you all to do a homework assignment for me. See how many analog clocks or digital clocks you can find in your home. Now, just to give you a hint, if you look on your microwave, you'll find one of these. You tell me which one it is that you find. Okay, so now, I have created my own analog clock. Parents, it is made out of a paper plate, a thumbtack, two pieces of paper, and the pencil eraser on the back to secure in the thumbtack. Just a little project for you all. Now, for our analog clock, there is an hour hand, which is the short hand, and then there is a minute hand, which is the long hand. Now, if you look at our digital clock, we have our hours and our minutes. So now, something that's the same on both the analog clock and the digital clock, they have hours and minutes. What is different about an analog clock and a digital clock? An analog clock has a circle face and it has hands. Minute hand, hour hand. A digital clock, normally is a rectangular face and they have digits in the place of the hour and the minutes. They do not have hour hands. So once again, analog clock, digital clock. I hope you enjoyed this brief segment on telling time. Thank you for tuning in to Teach Your Mommy, Mommy Teacher. If you would like to purchase any of my educational resource books, storybooks, or devotionals, please shop Amazon under my name, Jacqueline Jobes. Or you can visit my website, teachyourmommy.net. That says teachyourmommy.net. Thank you.